In this video, I'm going to show you how to make floating shelves, and I'm going to be using Rockler's blind shelf supports to hang the shelves. Now, for the actual shelf material, I kind of lucked out here because I already had this wood in the shop. It was already cut to length, as a matter of fact. So all I really had to do here was just clean up one side, and the reason for that is I wanted to sit a little bit nicer against the wall that they're going on. This is going in my outdoor kitchen. Uh, there's a brick wall there, so I just want to kind of clean that back edge up, give it a nice flush look on the back side. Uh, but now for an alternative material, uh, something you can get just every day at your home center, would could just be a, a two by material, like a two by eight or a two by 10. And if, it's, if they're going inside, you could use some that's not treated, so it's not real heavy. Uh, but you could get creative with this. You could route a design on the edge, uh, you could stain it the color that you want, uh, put a nice clear coat like a satin or semi-gloss. Just get real creative and make it your own. With these blind shelf supports, uh, the shelf, the open shelf system is just going to really stand out and make a statement in whatever room that you put them in. So I'm really excited about these things. Now I want to talk about the sponsor for this for this episode or for this video. Uh, Filter by is been on board for the last few videos like I've mentioned in some of my other videos and even my podcast episodes uh, but you can save five percent if you subscribe to their subscription service and what I mean by that is they'll send you the filters to your home every month and you you get to say whether it's gonna be every three months or every six months or whatever you want um, but you don't have to remember to change them out they just show up and you change them out and that really helps if your family or you struggle with allergies and so when the filters show up, you can go ahead and change them out, and you don't have to worry about that. So give FilterBy a look at FilterBy.com or visit the link down in the description. Now, to mount these, I've got a hammer drill here. You don't really need this. Uh, most handheld drills or some handheld drills will have a hammer drill feature. And so this might be a little overkill. I'm drilling into the mortar, so it's not that hard. Uh, and then I'm just inserting some anchors. And this is going to just hold the little bracket that comes with these uh, supports. And it's just a really easy way to install these things. So I got a couple of holes there. I just kind of measured the, the length of my shelf and made some marks on the wall. And that's where I drilled my holes. Kind of just held the... Uh, metal bracket up on the wall made a mark with a pencil and that's where I drilled and put my anchors in and it basically just tightens down with a, a screw in each hole and you can see here that center hole there is where the actual support is going to be screwed onto. Uh, and so there's several ways to do this now the way I chose to do this was to lay the shelf up on the, the supports themselves and centered it and so I found that you know give me the the same amount of distance on each side of that support rod and made a mark with my pencil around the support uh, and what this is going to do is give me a guide basically as of how to drill my hole so if the the support is at an angle I know to drill my hole at an angle uh, but you have to be careful because you don't want to make it to where it's pinching the wood as you're trying to install this onto the wall and you know you want to kind of keep these supports as parallel as possible to make the installation go by a little easier. So once you drill your holes, and by the way, try to drill them uh, just like the supports are, and hopefully they'll be straight to where this will be really easy to get on the wall. So after I drill the holes, I can just slip this into place. It's kind of a snug fit, which is a good thing, and that's all it is to it, really. So now I have some open shelves for storage in my outdoor kitchen, which is really nice for whatever I may want to store out there. But if you want to check out the website article to get more details on how I did this, be sure to check the link in the description that will take you over to my website. Now I have a few more projects out here on the patio if you're interested. This is the outdoor kitchen area that I did. It has a covered area over this uh, nice cabinet. I've got a nice surface to prepare food and entertain. There's a sink out there, and so it just turned out really, really good. i um, really happy with the way that turned out, and these open shelves gives it a really nice look out there. So check out that article and video. Here are some uh, DIY patio chairs that I made. Uh, there's also a plan that goes along with these. Uh, just with a few boards, you can make these chairs yourself, and it was really easy. Uh, so just with a circular saw and a drill, you can do this. Uh, so be sure and check out that. 
And then the pergola and the bar top there that you see in this clip is another project that I did. And there's a plan for that pergola as well. So there's plenty of projects here for your patio, uh, the summertime coming up. Be sure to check out those projects, the videos, and the website articles. Check out the plans. Let me know what you think about all of that. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.